Hey everybody, this is Ryan here from CNR Reviews. I'm going to show you guys real quick how to uh, make some ballistics gel. Uh, it may not be up to Mythbuster standards, but um, this is about as close as you can get with store-bought materials that, that, that we've found. So you want to start off with some original gelatin unflavored from Knox. You can pick this up at Walmart for like seven, eight dollars, somewhere around there. And this has uh, eight ounces in there. Now, four of these packs here, they come like this, in here like that. Four of these packs is one ounce. Okay? So, you want one ounce for every cup of cold water. Okay? Now, we're using some molds that are about a quart, okay, which is four cups. Now, we're making little loaves like this, okay, and uh, these, these hold about four cups, okay? So, <clears throat> using these little Tupperware things to mix it at first, this is the final mold, and I'll show you guys why we have a final mold and why we have a beginning mold. So, all right, we're going to empty because we want, we want four cups. We need to use 16 packages 16 little packages here of the Knox gelatin. Okay, so I'm going to rip these open here and empty them all out into here. So, actually I think we're going to cut. We may splice this because this takes forever. So, you want me to sing a song? Shut up. Nicholas, bless your tie. <laughs> We're filming this around Christmas time. Guns and Christmas go together. Yes, they do. Especially when those damn reindeer come and that guy breaks into your house every year. Want to have your guns ready. He watches you when you're sleeping. It's a little odd. And pooping. And pooping. He doesn't just come around Christmas time for me. <laughs> Quite often. <laughs> I'm very popular. It's so our nephew Nicholas in the back. He's a he's a recent addition to seeing our reviews. He's gonna be doing some uh, shooting with us. And uh, it's helping me out with the ballistics gel. As you guys can tell, this is a lot of gelatin. And it takes a long time. It's very tedious. If you guys buy the smaller packages, they uh, they don't come two, two at a time. They come just regular, just singles. singles. So it makes it a little bit more, even more tedious. Now this is unflavored stuff, so it... It doesn't have any taste. Yes, you can eat it. No, you don't want to. And when you heat it all up, it tastes like, or it smells like crap. It really does. <laughs> yeah, it is. Definitely something you want to serve to your in-laws. So, yeah, just say it's like vanilla flavored or something. Mm -hmm. So anyway, this is the gelatin here. Now we want four cups of water. So here's one. Now this is cold water. You don't need warm, you don't need hot, anything like that. Then we have a big one here of three cups. So again, that's 16 packages for four cups of water. Four packages per one cup of water. My spoon is stuck. We've been making ballistics gel a lot lately. So, kind of using the same materials here. We're just uh, showing you guys after we got the mix all actually done here. But as you guys can see, you just kind of mix it up. You want to prevent any bubbles or big chunks from happening. You can kind of chop those big chunks up. And you want it to get to the consistency of like fine grits or applesauce. I kept, kept likening it to, uh, to applesauce here. It takes a little while, but just be persistent with it. And 
it'll start to thicken up a little bit as everything starts to soak in. And at this point, it really doesn't matter if you if you have a whole bunch of bubbles in there. You can have some smaller bubbles in there because you're going to reheat this after it's all said and done here. So I think we got most of it there. See, there's some that's still dry. I don't know if you guys can see that texture there, but it's yeah, it looks like kind of runny applesauce. So, Nicholas, you want to take a bite of that? I'm good. No? I can flavor it for you. Maybe a little. Tell you what, after we stuff. heat it up, I'll give you ten dollars if you can take a spoonful of it. Sometimes, if you guys use the molds more than once, you'll get some. Uh, some bigger chunks in there and you just kind of want to break them up as much as you possibly can it's not a huge deal if there is some little tiny pieces because it is going to be melted yeah it is going to be melted at the end here what, what, what we're going to do is in the next step after this okay that's pretty good so what you're going to do is you're going to sit this in the fridge for about an hour, two hours, somewhere around there. I've done it where I've sat it all night. I've done it other times where I've sat it for just, you know, an hour or so, um, and then went to the next step. It'll become kind of semi-firm, almost like a jello, and then you can begin your next step.